What's up everyone, this is CyberKnight8610 and today we're opening up the next random pack opening and uh, again, let's see what we get. Close my eyes as always to choose some cards. I'm just going to go one, two, maybe I can choose it right this time. What is that? Three, four? Yeah, I think that gave me two, five, six, seven, eight, and uh, how about here? Nine and ten. So, I believe we got 10 this time. Last couple times it's been like 11, so... Okay, looks like we chose wisely this time, or... <laughs> or actually did it right this time, I guess. Maybe not wisely. And... Seriously, okay, Element Energy again. <laughs> uh, you know, that's not a bad thing. Like I said before, it just seems kind of funny. It's, I think it's the third time in the Ram Pack openings where we uh, got Element Energy, so... Let's see. I think every time it's done really uh, well for me, so... it will continue. Have a, uh, what's, there we go, Brow the Huntsman of Dark World. Couldn't read it through the camera. Ancient Prophecy. I always forget about Dark Worlds being in, in there. We have a Jester Lord. I don't know why I forget about them being, you know, from GX, because they were in the, you know, the third season? Yeah, I guess third season. Oh, what do we have? Tactical Evolution. I almost said fourth season, but yeah, they were in the third one. And a Necro Gardener. That's pretty good. There we go. Super Rare, one of the better hollows, I guess, to get from the set, so that's awesome. And then also we have an Elemental Hero Marine Neos. Uh, wait a minute. <laughs> in this before you get a rare and a hollow? And I don't think this was a pack that was from, like, a, a set where it changed that, did it? Did I get something from that? I don't know. I don't think that was from a, a a pack that was supposed to have Rare and a Hollow, if I remember right. But maybe I did get one of the reprint sets that was like that. Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> that was pretty cool either way, I guess. Raging Battle. Maybe it was. And we have a... Uh, Reinforce Human Psychic Borg. That's been a while since I've seen that card. I have actually forgot that was in this set. That's just one of those cards I don't really remember from this set. It's pretty cool though, super rare. And Iron Core of Kwakimaru. Cool, another super rare. Light of Destruction. I'm still kind of thrown off by the whole tactile evolution thing. I don't remember if, if they even made like a reprint of it where you could get a rare and hollow. I guess that was just a weird pack. That's what I'm going to think anyway. And an Ultra Rare. We have a Celestia Light Sworn Angel for an Ultra Rare, and then we have a uh, Dark Valkyria. Oh, yeah, yeah, it was a reprint set then, because this one's doing the same. So, yeah, I think that's right then. So, Ultra Rare. That solves the mystery, too. We solved the mystery of Tactical Evolution. I know Tactical Evolution can be a really weird set. That's why I never rule anything out on that. But, uh, yeah, I guess so. Lord Tachyon Galaxy. I guess it's set two where you can get a lot of misprints. That and uh, Gladiator's Assault, I think, kind of like a lot of misprints. Have a title, Dragon Ruler of Waterfalls. Uh, Cybernetic Revolution. Come on, get a Cyber Dragon. And we have a BS Crystal Core. Well, we got another BS card. I got that from, what, the second video? Second round of pack opening? Something like that. So there we go. Another one for the collection. And then Battery Man C also in there. That's kind of cool. Uh, Cosmo Blazer. And we were actually building the deck around the BS cards. And they're actually pretty fun to use. Or they were back then. I don't know if it can work now. Might try. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, Brush Fired Knight. And, oh, for a second I thought there was holographic behind it. Oh, we got Bacon Saver. That makes everything better. I mean, come on, Bacon always makes everything better. Even in card form. Rise of Destiny. Well, we have the uncensored version of Harpy Girl. Back to square one. Seems kind of funny now. Then a Fuseler Dragon. Again, so another one of those for a rare. I mean, it's kind of funny to see uh, back to square one, because now we have uh, the newer trap card, which now the name escapes me, that uh, has gone up in price from the newest set, so 
kind of funny to see that since they kind of go together. And a Cosmo Blazer, since they're both, I guess, the same board game or whatever. Right, last pack. What can we end with? We have Infernal Flame Vixen. And, oh, good enough with the hollow, but you know what? We did pretty well with this one. Got a good rare. We got, uh, of course, what was it? Two, or three super rares, excuse me, and uh, one ultra rare. So, not bad from this random pack opening. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this opening. As always, thank you guys for watching. Remember to comment, rate, and subscribe. And, of course, I will catch you guys later. See ya. Hope you guys have enjoyed my latest video. Be sure to subscribe for more Yu-Gi-Oh! videos, as well as check out my other two channels, Cyber Night Games for Let's Plays, and also a Cyber Night CCG for Card Fight Vanguard openings. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys later. See ya.